hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be dibble dabbling with a new eyeshadow palette from our favorites you can be so the eyeshadow palette we're going to be trying out today is the choco fusion eyeshadow palette this has oh damn i was hoping that it would tell me on the back how many shades there are but it doesn't so okay five times eight 40 shades guys i know seriously somebody give me an award for maths i know guys but we have 40 shades in this epically mammoth palette uh you can be did very kindly send this to me so that i could review it today they did also send me a couple of their new luxury queen oh i forgot the name guys i literally just checked and i thought i'm definitely gonna remember that two seconds later do not remember so these are the luxury style unique queen matte lipsticks the packaging of these lipsticks like to say it's unique is a massive understatement. I absolutely love, 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 love the packaging on these lipsticks. Although I do think that they're definitely going to be a love-hate kind of um, aesthetic. Uh, I think some people would love the fact that they're so extra, whilst others would probably think no like not for me we're not going to be trying these out today in this video because i feel like i want to just focus purely on the eyeshadow palette and also i don't have a lot of time to edit at the moment so it'll just mean that i can edit the eyeshadow palette video quicker and then i don't know it just it seems to be the right idea for me so we are going to be revisiting these lipsticks in an upcoming video today it's going to be all about the choco fusion palette so this is available on aliexpress on the you can be official store the price does fluctuate a little bit but it tends to be around the nine pounds mark this is the largest you can be palette that i've certainly ever tried i um don't generally love these massive palettes because you know so this palette's called the choco fusion palette so there's there's definitely a theme here you know there's a lot of chocolate shades browns um and we've got a lot of kind of jewelry kind of tones um but i do feel just this is just me glancing at the palette Th there are quite a few um very similar shades and I feel like if you're trying to have like a themed palette is it not easier to have a smaller palette because otherwise I do feel like you're going to end up repeating shades you know for example if you've got a unicorn inspired palette I think there's only so many unicorn actually do you know what I'm thinking there's quite a few unicorn shades but let's think okay so you're thinking of designing a um well in my head then I was thinking scaffolding like what scaffolding like who's designing scaffolding palettes I don't know but say if you're designing a giraffe palette okay there's only so many shades you've got orange you've got brown or black just orange and black like I don't know am I thinking of tigers anyway guys I did do the swatches for this palette last night I just thought it'd be easier to kind of you know pre-swatch them because there's 40 fecking shades I'm gonna show you that footage now I also did film a little bit of commentary last night as well because I knew if I left it till today I would definitely forget what all my opinions were so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you all of that footage right now okay so I've just done the swatches now it's the night before filming the video honestly I just felt like my general like thought overall was that there were a lot of repeat shades and I kind of question like do we need such a, a large palette because personally I definitely prefer a smaller um, palette that I can just fit into my bra you know so that I can carry it down the stairs. You feel like a lot of the shades were repeats. I felt that the mattes however were very creamy, buttery uh, but some of the lighter shades just weren't 
as pigmented as I would like. I do want to say though these are just swatches so you know they can perform very very differently on the eyes but I was def I definitely was a bit disappointed with the lack of pigmentation of the lighter shades. The darker mattes really impressed me a lot more. I thought that there was a real kind of you know bang of, of pigment so definitely excited about those. For the most part I really really was impressed with the shimmers. I thought that the the choice of shades was really in keeping with this whole kind of chocolate theme. Again though, I did feel like there were definitely some repeats here. We did see a couple of, you know, beautiful kind of amber shades, a couple of beautiful cranberry shades. For me, the standout shimmers were the icy, cool toned pink i thought that was beautiful and also the lime green i just thought was really unique and i think coupled with a a kind of rich chocolate shade it would look so beautiful and a really kind of unique kind of combination that is a bit unexpected i thought that the shimmers performed beautifully although i do just want to give a disclaimer i did use a wet finger on most of them because i was using like a wet wipe like i didn't mean to but i was using a wet wipe to wipe my fingers after i swatched so my finger was moist I, like i had a moist finger when swatching a lot of the shimmers so i do definitely think that that is going to make them you know look their best but Overall, I really, really like the shimmers and it's exactly what I would expect from You Can Be. So really, really excited about trying the palette. Oh, by the way, guys, are you liking my new rainbow light? Because I am. This is Amazon's finest. It costs £10. And the best thing about it, other than it looks fabulous, is that it plugs right in. So you don't have to mess about with batteries. Like for me, my rule in life is I do not want anything that has batteries which eliminates my whole dildo collection i'm just joking guys I, I literally do not have any dildos there's nothing wrong with having dildos if you have dildos all power to you and your fabulous dildo collection but i do not i just i just love the word dildo i just think or maybe i'm just like very immature but so i am just going to begin to play with the palette i don't really have any specific idea in mind about what kind of look i'm going to create it's definitely going to be like a chocolate kind of look i either want to use this beautiful kind of icy pink or I want to use the beautiful kind of lime green and I actually feel like I'm going to go with the lime green look today because I think I don't really use green a lot whereas I use pink a lot so I think that's the plan for today oh my gosh guys to begin I am well and truly spoiled with uh, neutral brown transitions here but I think I'm going to go in with the lightest one because then we can kind of judge how pigmented she is because based on the swatches she was not very pigmented she was like invisible to the human eye but oh my gosh she is sassy today I had to go open up the office this morning like it's Saturday today so I had to go open up the office because we oh, for fuck's sake like really oh actually though it's it's Carrie from Glitter Eyes love you Carrie oh it's Carrie again oh Carrie I love you she's so great but yeah so I had to open up the office um at half six so I was in the office for ten past six I, I never get in the office that early apart from on a fucking Saturday apparently but anyway guys so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna dip Carrie Carrie she she's just sending me all the text today oh my gosh she says would I like to try the new mermaid pigments Yes, bitch, yes, Carrie, send them my way. Oh, more, more, more. Oh, she sent pictures, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Anyway, let's just get stuck in. So this is the lightest brown in the palette. And I'm just going to blend this all into my crease. By the way, I'm wearing the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation today. This is like my all-time favourite foundation. Um, I don't usually wear it for filming though, just because I tend to kind of save it for work because it is super, super long-lasting, but it's also super, super expensive. Um, so I don't usually wear it for filming because for filming, I usually just have my foundation on for like a limited amount of time. Uh, but I'm wearing it today. So would you tell me that? What do you think? Is my face looking nice oh my gosh what kind of egotistical person am i these days 
asking people to compliment my face. Oh my gosh. Also, I think the Botox is wearing off. Can you see? Oh, guys. Okay, so I've applied a little bit of this shade and I'm actually very impressed considering how disappointed I was when I swatched it. Absolutely nothing came up when I swatched it. It was just invisible. But you can definitely see a souche on there of a chocolate brown and I'm happy with that. Yes, a bitch. Yes. Okay, so next I want to build this up a little bit more. So I'm going to actually go in with this brown here. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot in this video. I'm going to go in with this brown here. Um, but this is a slightly darker brown. I'd say it's slightly more warm toned. And it all, almost has like little kind of, you know, kind of orangey undertones to it, I would say. Just pat that on. I do find that it really does help with matte shades or if you do have a... A shadow that maybe isn't the most pigmented you know if you just kind of tap to begin with and then blend it just helps you know the product to kind of sit upon the skin do you know what I really like this you can definitely see the difference in shades as well so this is a yes do you know what, I best do the other eye kind of simultaneously because if I don't, I'm definitely going to forget. So I'm just going to go, no, I'll add one more shade and then I'll do the other eye. I mean, really, just rushing myself. By the way, I know I always say this like in videos, but like I really am impressed with, we've used like two different shades, one of which was invisible to the human eye when I swatched it. But I feel like actually on the lid, they're both looking really good right now. So next I'm going to go in with a deeper shade and I think I think I'm gonna win with this beautiful shade here it definitely is like a very rich um chocolate brown but it does slightly look a little bit plum like it's got that kind of rich kind of aubergine kind of undertone to it do you know what I need to get a little kind of rock or something like in front of me for when I film because I, I will destroy my carpet. So I'm just kind of putting this right into the nook of the crease. Do you know what? I do find that as I'm getting older, just my light is just moving around so much, you know, as I'm, as I'm trying to blend and it's terrible. Like if you have lids that just don't move around a lot, enjoy them. Like enjoy them whilst you have them because one day, they will be moving around as you're trying to apply your eyeshadow and you'll be like, oh my gosh, why did I take these for granted so much? Okay, so I really am liking what's going on there. I did have a criticism, like, or not a criticism, but I had a kind of pessimistic speculation that based on the swatches, I thought that there were a lot of repeat shades and I just thought there wasn't wasn't going to be much differentiation between some similar shades. However, I'm kind of eating my words right now. I, I mean, I know that I've only tried three of the shades, but the three shades I've tried, they've all been extreme, not extremely, but they've been different, you know, very, very, I'd say very different, I think is fair. And I'm just loving this look that we've got here. Ooh la la. Ooh to the la to the ooh la la. Okay, so I'm gonna go, oh no, before I go under the eye, oh no, I'm gonna go under the eye, feck it, why not? So I'm gonna go under the eye and I'm gonna go in with the DP shade that we've just used, which is the um, almost like aubergine kind of shade that we literally just used. I don't know why didn't I just say the shade we've we've just used. I'm gonna try a little something something today. So. I'm just going to keep that deeper shade focused on this kind of outer half and then on the inner half I'm going to go in with this shade here, this brown shade. Maybe like if I don't bring the deeper shade all the way under, I just feel like will it look a little bit more flattering? Like I don't know but do you know what I love, 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 love? how the shadows are blending. I, I'm in love with the pigmentation. I really am, because you know I had my doubts, but I'm actually really, really, really impressed. You know, some eyeshadows you can use um, and they look faded, like these do not. Like these do not look faded. 
I'm really happy with this so far and considering that you can be palettes usually around seven pounds for maybe like nine shades considering you get 40 shades in here for nine pounds I think so far I mean I know it's probably too soon to say but I'm actually just thinking this is great value like at this point okay so I'm gonna go ahead bring my other eye up to the quality of this eye and then I'll be back and we can go in with a sexy little shimmer oh yes bitches okay guys just to point out a little bit of an issue that I've been having so can you see just over here with that darker shade I think I well I don't know if this is the shadow or probably more likely um <coughs> the brush that I was using but can you see how it's kind of, you can see a halo, I just feel like it's not blending and I've tried using like multiple different brushes, I've tried really kind of getting in there with a big fluffy brush to blend it, for some reason it's not blending nicely over here, whereas over here we have a beautiful blend over here. I just don't know what I've done wrong. I don't necessarily think it was the shadow, but um, yeah, I just wanted to keep you updated to let you know like the struggles that I'm currently dealing with. So, okay, so I have blended till my wrist is bleeding. It's not. Like, honestly, guys, I'm getting to that age now where if I do something for long enough with my wrist, I'll get RSI. So I really, really, really am liking the look. I definitely prefer the look on this side than this side because, I don't know, I feel like maybe I was making more of an effort because I knew you were watching me do this eye, whereas this eye, I was a bit more slapdash and I was just like, oh, just fucking get it on. I just don't know, guys. But next, we're going to move into the shimmer. And today, I'm definitely going to use this beautiful... It's kind of like a lime green shimmer. I'm a huge fan of lime green. And as I said, when I did the swatches, I think that this kind of lime green with the brown just is such an exquisite kind of color pairing, if I don't say so myself. I mean, somebody call the color experts and tell them there is a new expert in town. This is what the lime green looks like beautiful guys so i'm gonna go in with my finger to begin and then if we need to i'm gonna wet my finger and go in with a wet finger oh my gosh oh yes yes i'm loving her oh actually she looks a lot better in person than, than she does here okay so on the inner vagina i am just going to go in with the slightly lighter it's not actually green it, this is more of like a, a very light goldy yellow so i'm going to go in with this and again i'm just going to use my little finger for this if you know of any like really really good makeup brushes on aliexpress would you let me know because like i am in the market to treat myself to some makeup brushes. Okay, so this is like the look we have. I'm not really too happy with the level of popping we have with the green shimmer, so I am gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna wet my finger. I've sprayed some of my Morphe setting spray. So, um, yeah, I've just dipped my finger in the Morphe setting spray and now dipping her back into the palette. Look at her, I know, orgasm making, isn't she, guys? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm loving it guys. It's everything I dreamt about and so much more. I'm really, really liking how it's looking. So this is the look over there. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the other eye, finish off the look, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I have a finished, oh no I've not. Guys, I thought I'd finished the look and I forgot mascara so, I guess I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I am actually finished this time. So I applied my mascara. I did a little kind of subtle wing and I am very happy with the final look. You know that when I performed my swatches, I was a little bit critical. I actually was not hugely, hugely kind of optimistic about what the quality of this palette was going to be. However, after having actually tried it upon my eyes today, I am in awe. Like I have nothing but compliments 
for this palette even before doing the swatches and I, I know this is going to make me sound like a judging Jemima right now but even before I did the swatches I was just a little bit cautious only because of the sheer size of the palette. Usually I find that with these larger palettes the quality can be a little bit questionable, 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 oh my gosh, you know what I mean. Because I feel like the quality is forfeited for sheer quantity. However, with this palette, I just am so, 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 so impressed with it. I feel like the quality of these eyeshadows is definitely on par with what we've come to expect from You Can Be. You know that when I did those swatches, I was definitely a little bit not critical because I hadn't tried the eyeshadows yet but I was definitely cautiously optimistic. I thought that the uh, mattes were so pigmented, so beautiful to work with, they just went on like butter, blended out beautifully and yeah I was just so surprised by the actual pigmentation. I thought well I only used like two of the shimmers but the two shimmers I used really really impressed with. I did have to use a wet finger but then I always use a wet finger. Like I I mean could you imagine if someone like your boyfriend walks in on this minute. I always use a wet finger. They'd be like oh my gosh what tutorial are you watching now? I mean really. But um, yeah the two shimmers I tried I was super impressed with and I have no doubts that the rest of the shimmers would be just as good because they all visually look like they're the same they're the same so I'm just going to go with a visual inspection on this one. I would definitely recommend this palette if you're a fan of chocolate shades, if you're a fan of dual tone shades, if you're just a fan of really affordable but really high quality eyeshadows I think you would not be disappointed. I think she's great and I'm just like I can't stop looking at her because I mean oh like she definitely surprised me today. She definitely brought the milkshake to the yard or did the milkshake bring the boys to the yard I don't know who did what first but yes bitch yes we have a winner on our hands anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video today I hope that you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it I hope that you have a absolutely tremendous rest of the day and I will see you in the next video bye I've just realised my Morphe spray was in front of my fabulous LED rainbow, cramping it style. I think not. I think not. I'm off.